What's up guys, it's Brandon J. Today, we are gonna be answering a question that I have been getting in the comments for literally years. Where can I get treasure hunting equipment? And that is a great question. In all of my videos, I have at least $10,000 of my body and equipment at all times, and that is just so unreasonable and unrealistic for people who are getting into treasure hunting. So today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're not hopping in the water, we're hopping store to store to see who has the best treasure hunting equipment for you guys at home. Now before we get into gear, we need to talk a little bit about treasure hunting because there's a bunch of different types. On today's affordable treasure challenge, we're gonna be breaking it down into three tiers. We've got magnet fishing, which is basically magnet fishing rope, and just toss, you know, magnet fit, just, you know, just magnet fishing. We've got underwater treasure hunting, which is gonna be basically goggles, fins, everything you need to get underwater and basically find stuff with your eyes. And then last but not least, we have good old metal detecting, which could be done on land because that's a version of treasure hunting, but extra points if it's an underwater metal detector like this, so you can do it above ground and below the water. So that's how we're gonna be breaking down the stores. So today's stores are gonna be Walmart versus Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, we know that these are two completely different stores, but we wanted to kind of see who has the best and there's a bunch of different tiers. So this could go any way. I will make a deal with you guys though. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, we'll do Academy, which is Dick's Sporting Goods Rival versus Bass Pro Shop. So I have no clue who's gonna win that. And they're like five minutes apart from each other. So I think it could be really good. So if you guys wanna see that, 5,000 likes. But with that being said, let's head over to Walmart and Dick's Sporting Goods and see who has the best affordable treasure hunting equipment or treasure hunting equipment at all. Because I mean, I really don't know. Really quick, almost forgot to mention, everything bought in today's video is gonna be completely given away. You guys have blessed us with being able to do this for a living. We have all the gear we could ever imagine, so I wanna give back to you guys to make your treasure hunting dreams a reality if you've ever wanted to do it. So just leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna go and uh, just comment back or get your information somehow, and we will send you guys treasure hunting equipment from today's video. Now, I don't know what we're gonna get. We might get $3 goggles or we might get $300 metal detectors. Either way, I'll be sending it to you guys. Uh, and even more so, if you wanna message me on Instagram and show me that you commented, it'd be a lot easier to get in touch through the DMs that way. So uh, just leave a comment and maybe message me on Instagram. That'll be the two things and then we'll get all your info and we'll ship you out some metal hunting, metal hunting, treasure hunting equipment. Well, how do you like the new whip? Rocking the old Brinks truck, the vault on wheels. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sick if we had one of those? Anyway, we are officially at Dick's Sporting Goods. Remember, we're looking for the best treasure hunting equipment. So that could be underwater stuff, could be metal detector stuff, could be magnet fishing stuff. We're going in there with a the mission to buy the treasure hunting gear. Remember, all that stuff's going to you guys. Just leave a comment, follow me on Instagram. Then we're going to Walmart. But I have high hopes for this place. I think this is gonna be the sleeper. I think this could win the whole thing, so we'll see. We made it to the water section at Dick's. And let me tell you, They've got a plethora of the good old mask, fins, snorkel setups. It's like the typical setup. You got the, the good old kits. And believe it or not, treasure hunting, I got my very first kit um, at Dick's Sporting Goods. Not this one, it was in Georgia. But it was a blue like US diver or something like that. And uh, that's what I started with. I remember Tris and I even spray painted our fins. So uh, we're starting off good here, but they have a bunch of different kinds. So you got, oh gosh, please never get the full face. You can't even dive underwater. It like compresses, it makes your eyes wanna pop out of your head. This is almost the exact kit that I got. So this is like right at 75 bucks, but it's pretty decent and check me out bro. You get done treasure hunting bro, you just friggin', you know what I'm saying? Or you can use this as a treasure bag. Kind of smart, kind of smart. Be way better if it said if it was like jigging swim gear. Hmm? You know what I mean? So we got the kit, but they do have a little bit like better goggles and stuff set up, but they're individual. So we've got like all the goggles and stuff like that. I think this is a complete gimmick. It's Chroma HD with like the stuff on the lens. I, I think it's a gimmick. Stay away from that stuff. This is pretty much just what you got in the kit. These look a little decent, but I don't, I don't really know. Wetsuits? Wetsuits? I mean, it's not, I mean, that's definitely not fitting me. I mean, maybe back in like 2001, it might, but 
it is kind of cool they do have some wetsuits and they got some neoprene stuff they've you know it's dick sporting goods they got a bunch of different stuff but they do have like kayaks and stuff like that which could advance your ability to go places while treasure hunting uh, but it's definitely not like your go-to things. I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably zero magnet fishing stuff just because it's not super known. I think the closest magnet fishing stuff we're going to get is like line like this with a carabiner. You'd have to like get your own magnet, but everywhere doesn't really have magnet fishing. It's not like mainstream yet. It should be. It should be, but it's not super mainstream. What they do have though, that is very impressive is they actually have metal detectors and they're on sale, which means they're probably not selling that well. Do you see this guy? I don't know if it's an underwater one. We can figure that out, but it is a metal detector. Remember I said on land or underwater. So we've got not only one, this one here too. So we have two. I actually asked one of the store people, have they had any metal detectors? And they said they do, but they might be sold out, which is interesting. Mine lab. That's the same company that makes my Excalibur, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I think they do. This guy is $120, but he's on sale for a hundred bucks. This one is $120, but it's on sale because it normally costs over 130. So this littler boxed is actually the better one. So we're gonna go with this one. And for the metal detecting rating at Dick's Sporting Goods, I'd say it's pretty freaking good. They have two different metal detectors a lot of places don't even carry metal detectors i was thinking that in magnet fishing was going to be the hardest ones they zero out for magnet fishing they have none for metal detectors they do have two they have two options and they're both relatively solid i would say i'd say above average but slightly eight again yeah so 16 out of 30 for a treasure hunting scale i think my math is right on that i will do it again on the screen when i edit this but uh yeah we'll give them an eight out of ten for metal detectors but we're gonna get this and we're gonna get this and i think that's pretty much it for dick sporting goods a total of 207 dollars affordable but still pretty pricey i would say we got some good gear though i mean the metal detector is pretty it's pretty money we'll see when we open it up at the house but they scored a 16 out of 30 but I think I'm going to bump their underwater category to a nine just because of all of the wetsuits. I mean, it's just like going to keep you warm and nowhere really carries wetsuits like that. So I don't know. I think I'm going to bump them up. A perfect 10 is going to be the best of the best equipment with like all the variety. But I mean, that was a lot of variety. It was all just like budget friendly stuff. So I'm going to give them a nine out of 10 because that was like really good. I, it was unexpected to see wetsuits. It made me happy. So nine out of 10 underwater, eight out of 10 with the metal detectors and zero to 10 magnet fishing. Let's go to Walmart, see what we can find. Ladies and gentlemen, Walmart. I know it's completely pitch black outside. It's a long story. Either way, we're going inside now to compare it to Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's is gonna be hard to beat. The water category was pretty good. The metal detecting category was pretty good. Zero magnet fishing, but that's to be expected. We're gonna go into Walmart. I have no clue if they even have underwater stuff. I really don't know if they have metal detector stuff and I'm pretty sure they don't have magnet fishing. So let's go in there, let's see what they got. And remember all the stuff we get today is going back to you guys, but let's hop in there and see what we can find. I feel very discriminated against as a fisherman. They decided to put all their boxes in the fishing aisles. It's only 6.30 right now, okay? It's not even that late. We asked a Walmart representative. She was super nice. We said goggles. She said those. We were standing right beside them. So they do have goggles, which is good. We'll go over that in a second. We said metal detector. She said not a chance. And then we said magnets. Now we'll show you our magnet deal here in a second because it's not what you'd think, but so far no one has had magnets uh, for magnet fishing. So we'll show you, it's gonna be interesting, but let's go to what they do have, which is the goggles. And again, it's the real quick goggle boy, the, the super speed swimmers, which we're not really after. Your goggles section is, it needs a little bit of work. I think it'd be super easy to throw like a little combo in here, but they don't got any. So we got the super speed swimmers and we got, you got dang swim caps and that's about it. What you got down there, Trav? You got something special? Oh, oh I haven't had these yet. Whoa, look at those, man. Those are freaking legendary, dude. Oh man, it's bad. It's pretty bad. It's not what you'd think if you're you're getting a glance around. We're definitely in the crab section, but we've got 
some extra strength magnets. Now, this isn't made for magnet fishing, but if you're creative enough and you wanna do some budget treasure hunting, I'm sure you can figure something out. I don't know how, but that's the difference between me and you. You could probably figure it out. Me, I have no idea. Okay, so I did get two goggles. I, I did get um, I did get an air filter for my house, but <laughs> the total came out to $88 minus whatever the air filter was. I have no idea. But one of those goggles, I think the goggles are like $50 out of the total, which is ridiculous. We did not buy the magnets because, well, let's be honest, like they were just like super impractical. And uh, this stuff is stuff I'm gonna send to you guys and. I don't want to send somebody just magnet buttons or adhesive tape. So I decided we're not even going to do that, but we're going to send the goggles and all this stuff. Either way, uh, Walmart didn't do too hot. I think we all knew it wasn't going to do that great, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. With that being said, though, we've got our haul for the day. Let's go to the house. Let's break it down, show you what we got, and give you our official ratings for Dick's Sporting Goods versus Walmart in the treasure equipment challenge. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the studio and, uh, well, it's really just my, my backyard garage, to be honest with you. But we've got Dick Sporting Goods here. We've got Walmart here. Based on the size of the bags, you can kind of tell who won, but let's go ahead, sit stuff down, break it down, and show you what you guys are gonna get and then come up with an overall score. Dick Sporting Goods, I think the scores are gonna stick. We gave them an eight out of 10 for metal detectors because they had two different kinds and I thought it was actually pretty sweet. Uh, we gave them a nine out of 10 for underwater though because they had wetsuits. They thought of stuff like that. So, I mean, wetsuits are pretty hard to come across and I was pretty surprised. So at least that Dick Sporting Goods scored in that category. These could change no matter where you are. All right, so we got this guy. Are we, having, are we gonna have to go down to seven out of 10? I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, okay. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, a fully extended metal detector. I'm not sure how you feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But either way, it's gonna work. So one of you guys who wants to metal detect and do some great things and dig in the dirt with this thing, it's gonna be sent to you. It's kind of cool though. I mean, let's be real. It's kind of cool for getting it at Dick's Sporting Goods, which is not a metal detecting supplying store. It's pretty decent. Now we're breaking down this thing. It's the basics. You know, it's, you got your shorty fins, you got your mask and your snorkel, little combo kit there. It's the basics. What can I say? All I know is that these fins, they may look weird. They may look like duck feet, but they're super easy to walk in. Didn't think about that, did you? That's gonna be the items for Dick's Sporting Goods. Obviously, they had a lot more there, but we picked underwater gear and we picked metal detecting gear. So these are gonna be the stuff we pack back up and get to you guys. Dick's Sporting Goods, pretty impressive. Walmart, not so much. How many iPhones do you think I'm finding with these goggles? All the iPhones. All the iPhones, probably. My, my vision is a little blurred with the stickers, but as soon as I rip these bad boys off, I mean, iPhones are just gonna start floating into the hands. These are more like snowmobile situation, but goggles nonetheless, so these work. Let's go ahead and get a serious breakdown of our scores here. Dick Sporting Goods, I gave you an eight out of 10 and a nine out of 10, which gives you 18, no, 17. 17 out of 30, so it's not terrible. Uh, Walmart, we gotta talk, man. You, you gotta, you, I know it's probably seasonal in Walmart, but we, can, we gotta get my treasure hunting people some supplies, okay? Snowmobile goggles and magnetic tape ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna give you a three out of 30. It's bad. Dick Sporting Goods absolutely crushed. Um, to be honest, this whole series is to actually challenge ourselves to go to stores that you guys have available around the whole nation and be able to find supplies to get out there and start doing what 
you may fall in love with. I know it's something that I absolutely love to do. It's changed my life. I've got to see a lot of beautiful places. I get to share it with you guys, which is even more special. Notice that we didn't set any of this up to be like a YouTube treasure hunter. We just set it up to be someone who wants to go out and experience the water for themselves and or experience treasure hunting in whatever aspect that may be. So remember 5,000 likes, we will go to Bass Pro Shop versus Academy, which could be a big head to head battle. Who knows? I mean, that could be, uh, I don't know. I think they're both going to be close. I think they're both heavy hitters. So if you guys want to see that 5,000 likes, I hope you guys enjoyed this little different twist on this channel. It's a little something different. Let me know what you thought. With that being said, this is going to wrap it up. See you. Uh, geez, wow. I almost forgot my outro here. And as always, we will catch you guys on the next adventure, which may be at your local store. Maybe. I don't know. Peace out. <laughs>